Hello, um, welcome back to the, uh, this is the second of five tutorials on the OpenVDB viewer for Linux and Mac. Um, in the previous tutorial uh, we looked at just generally how to make the application, um, how to install it, how to run it, how to use it, how to quickly load a file, um, and just quickly have a look at the file basically, as well as all the menus um, within the application. Uh, this episode we'll be looking at the first tab, which is the render tab. So if I just quickly uh, load up the application like this, um, and we'll quickly open a file. So we've recapped that. So it's Control Z uh, O to open file, open the file browser, and then we'll load in a file. Uh, we will look at I think the smoke one. I think, and then uh, and do we want to load high resolution? Um, e no, we won't. I think we'll load just a VDB. So, as you can see, we've got our smoke uh, file opened, uh, showing purely in its VDB uh, form. Uh, so you see the uh, different layers of the VDB tree. So this is basically the crux of what's inside an open VDB file. Um, it's the VDB tree. This is what makes the VDB format so unique. So on the right side, you can see we're in our render tab. So this is the first tab we have, and this is takes sort of takes control of anything visual, um, so anything you see. So um, obviously at the moment we have we chose not to load in high resolution at the beginning. Uh, so we've got the top, we've got show high resolution. Um, if that was loaded in, we click that, it would toggle the display. If it's not loaded in, as it's not at the moment, um, when you click that, it will ask you, do you want to load it in? And then you can load it in. Uh, the render channel, um, so if a file has more than one channel, um, which I know for a fact this one does, um, you can basically choose which render channel to render. Um, sorry, which uh, channel to render. Um, so sometimes that's mass, sometimes that's temperature, velocity, um, and the channels can be either floats or vectors, um, which are represented by the colours. So any float channels will be black and white on, on a grey scale, and any vector ones will use the vector as a colour, so it will be multicolour, which we'll see in a bit. Um, the show bounding box option quite simply shows uh, bounding boxes. There's the bounding box of the file, or not. Um, you will notice that the VDB tree doesn't always fit inside the bounding box. That's purely to do with the fact that the bounding box is calculated on the, sh on the high resolution points, not on the VDB tree, um, which is why that happens like that. Moving down, we've got a uh, VDB tree, so you can quite simply show the VDB, VDB tree, or you know, not, it's up to you. And then we've got the different levels, so each of these different colour boxes are a different level of the VDB tree. Each level gets more um, focused and uh, high resolution as you go further in. Um, and all you can do is simply toggle uh, off, on, on and off, uh, which ones you want to see. So you can see the level 0 is the highest one, um, it's just that simple box. Uh, level 1 is the green one, um, so that's a slightly higher resolution um, tree. Uh, then level 2 is the orange, so it just reveals the uh, highest resolution, which is level 3. Um, so just, you can just uh, look at the different levels in a bit more detail and sort of get rid of any rubbish you don't really want to be looking at. And the level of detail here, um, we'll get to in a minute when we get to the render mode, um, basically uh, displays different levels of resolution um, of the file. So uh, we will show the high resolution, so we're we'll loading the data, and it's not loaded in, it's asking us if we want to, we, to continue, we do. Um, wait a couple of seconds and you can see it's loaded in the high resolution data. So if we remove the VDB tree, so currently um, it's on a grey scale, so this channel, which is density, is a float um, channel. Uh, so the values literally on all X, Y, and Z uh, components are between 0 and 1 are always the same. Um, so you can see at the bottom, um, you see at the bottom there, it's just a little bit of white. It's, so the values at the bottom sort of vary more than the ones at the top. Um, but if we click on the render channel, um, we can see there's a, there's a second channel um, we're stored within the file called V. So if we click on that, um, you can now see this is a vector channel. Um, I'm assuming it means velocity, I'm not entirely sure what the, the V stands for. Um, but you can see now that the vectors are actually being displayed as, their, as the colours of their components. Um, so it's a bit, a bit nice to look at. And obviously... Um, shows the value stored at each point so if you can zoom right in you can have a look at each point uh, I can make it a bit bigger oh, hello. three um, and obviously you can switch back to the first one if you wish we'll leave it on that one though so the level of detail tab down the bottom 
um, is quite simple. It's a nice little slide one. Um, so by default, 50% of the file gets loaded in. Um, so it's 50% of the points. Um, so you can simply scale down, and you can see the number of points that are actually. Move the button to one. And the number of points that are actually being displayed is obviously getting less, less, less. And then as we go higher, we get a much higher resolution. And so if we zoom in. We get all that as well. Let's go back to around 50. Obviously, all of this works with the VDB tree on as well. I mean, the Levadito only applies to the high resolution points, but you can sort of, so I can take that off and I can sort of see, well, these points are now in this part of this level of the tree. Um, so you can sort of, if there's any erroneous data going on. Um, the final part of the render tab, we'll just turn that back off. Um, is this button down the bottom. Now this show file information is also accessible from information information. Um, if we click show file information um, it brings up this little window here. Now on the top part of this um, is a uh, hardware information so uh, you can run, you'll, you'll see this even when there's no file loaded in. So it'll tell you obviously who made your graphics card, um, what uh, version of OpenGL you're running, um, your, your card itself, so mine's, I've got two six, uh, 670s, um, so it's picking up on that. And the total GPU memory available on your card and the amount you've used. Um, if you want to update it, it won't update automatically um, at runtime um, until you load something in or make a change, but you can click the update used and it will update how much is being used. Um, below that, we've got information about the file itself. So um, it tells you obviously the file name, the path. The file name is also actually uh, down on the bottom left. You haven't noticed that. It tells you the version of the file. Um, so this is the count of the high resolution. Um, bounding box, min and max, the size and the bytes, uh, what kind of class it is. And then it tells you the, the different um, channels are a grid. Um, so each one represents a grid. So we've got two grids in this file, as we can see. Uh, and it just runs you the information on each of the grids. Um, so it just sort of exposes uh, the information stored. And then there's the raw metadata at the bottom as well for you. Um, that's about it for the render tab. This is really concerned more about just how, how do you visualize the uh, data. Um, yes, yeah, so next time we'll look at the channel tab and what this does. Um, so thank you for listening.